Osmosis is defined as the movement of solvent molecules from a region of lower solid concentration to a region of higher concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. Osmosis plays an important role in the interaction of cells with their external fluid surroundings. The cell membrane functions as the semi-permeable membrane through which transport of solvent molecules occur between the intra- and extracellular regions. The ability of an extracellular solution to cause the movement of solvent molecules into or out of a cell is known as the tonicity of that solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration same as that found within a cell is known as an isotonic solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration lower than that found within a cell is known as hypotonic solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration higher than that found within a cell is known as hypertonic solution. When cells are placed in an isotonic solution, they remain the same as there is no net movement of solvent into or out of the cells. However, when cells are placed in a solution which is hypotonic to them, the cells will begin to swell as there is net movement of solvent into the cells. This process is known as end osmosis. And finally, if cells are placed in a hypertonic solution, the cells will shrink as there is a net movement of solvent from the cells to their external surrounding. This process is known as exosmosis. In this experiment, we're going to make use of an animal cell, namely human red blood cells, to demonstrate the effect of the three types of tonic solutions on cells. For this experiment, we'll need the following. Hypo, iso, and hypertonic solution of either sodium chloride or glucose. Glass lights and cover slips. Cotton and rubbing alcohol. A pricking device or a blood lancet. Three droppers. Three mixing sticks or toothpicks. A compound light microscope. Begin the experiment by taking three clean and dry glass lights along with the three different tonic solutions with a dropper in each bottle. Clean a finger with alcohol and prick it using a lancet or pricking device. Place a drop of blood in the center of each slide. Place a drop of hypotonic, isotonic and hypertonic solution on the drops of blood in each of the three slides. Mix each drop of blood and tonic solution using three different mixing sticks or toothpicks. Cover them one by one using cover slips. Allow the slides to stand for a few minutes. Observe each slide under the microscope. In the slide containing the isotonic solution, the RBCs do not exhibit significant change in their cell shape or volume. They retain their normal turgidity. The RBCs exposed to hypotonic solution become swollen to such an extent that many of them could no longer retain their cellular integrity and have ruptured. The slide shows a murky appearance with only few swollen cells visible. These ruptured RBCs are commonly referred to as RBC ghosts. In the slide containing the hypertonic solution, RBCs shrink in size and exhibit a phenomenon known as RBC crenation, wherein the cells exhibit spiky appearance on their surfaces. The simple demonstration shows the effect of solutions of varying solid concentration to cells.